<laughs> I get it. I get it. I understand why you'd be negative on stocks right now, even after a good day. Where the Dow dipped 39 points, the S&P roared 1.47%, but the Nasdaq surged 3.25%. There are a million reasons actually to feel bad about this market, especially after this big run in the last two days. Everything from the fact that we've moved up too far too fast, I mean crazy, insane action, particularly the NASDAQ, to the dawning realization that nothing much has really changed for the better in the last three days. There's still inflation, more rate hikes, there's still gridlock in Washington, there's a war in Europe, companies are laying off people left and right. More important, until a few months ago, if you dared to go positive on stocks, you got your darn hand handed to you practically every single day. <laughs> Yep, every day I run this investment club with my colleague Jeff Marks, who's stuck in New York while I get to be in beautiful pro-business Miami at the aptly named University of Miami. Yes, the U, like this. Not like this, as I unsurface and learn. This is Utah. I'm at the U. Anyway. We come in each day for months and get put through the stock meat grinder because we owned a company called NVIDIA, the big semiconductor company, and the semis just got slaughtered day after day after day. We stuck with NVIDIA because the chips are the backbone of artificial intelligence. And more important, when this kind of stock bottoms, it comes back so fast you might not get a, a chance to get back in. Buy at a better price. So we stuck with it and stuck with it and stuck with it. And one day, everyone's talking about this thing called Chat GPT. But the thing is, it starts on NVIDIA's platform. Game changer. When the stock was at 108 in October of last year, I was taking gas down more than 60% from its top. Everyone laughed at me. Made me sick. People in the squawk on the street said, what are you still in that NVIDIA for? Check NVIDIA out today. It's doubled since then. Today, I constantly hear that if you want an AI play, you should look no further than NVIDIA. Look at it. Heck, I renamed my darn dog after it. Very confusing for the dog, unless you have meat in your hand. People thought this story was all about video games, but it's about innovation. And now NVIDIA is powering one of the most important platforms of all time. If you played through the pain last year, you've now got this enormous gain. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.